Welcome back to Crash Course in Entomology. Today, we will be learning about the evolution of flight, neoptery, and hollow metabolist development in insects, as well as the insect orders that stem from these innovations. Wings evolved only once in insects, meaning all winged insects share a common ancestor. The subclass of all winged insects, as well as insects who have had ancestors with wings but have since lost them, is known as pteragoda. At the most basal level, that is, before certain pterygoats began to lose their wings, these insects possess two pairs of wings. The first pair of wings are called the forewings and are located on the mesothorax, and the second pair of wings are called the hind wings and are located on the metathorax. Wingless insects can be divided into two categories, those with primary aptery and those with secondary aptery. Primary aptery means an insect does not have a winged ancestor, and secondary aptery means an insect has a winged ancestor but has since lost those wings. Primarily apterous insect orders include Insects in the order Archaeoagnatha, also known as jumping bristletails, can be identified by their three long filaments, two cerci and one longer medial filament, long maxillary palps, and the eyes that meet at the top of their head. Jumping bristletails are found in leaf litter and they eat detritus. They get their name from the jump-based flight response. The order Zygentoma, also called silverfish, can be identified through their three equal length cerci, their widely separated eyes, and their namesake silver scales. Silverfish are detritivores, found in leaf litter and soil, and can be household pests. Only four groups of animals have ever evolved flight, these being birds, pterosaurs, bats, and insects. However, the origin of flight in insects is a heavily debated topic. The four main theories of the origin of flight in insects include the abdominal gill hypothesis, the paranodal lobe hypothesis, the excite hypothesis, and the hybrid hypothesis. The abdominal gill hypothesis states that the gills of aquatic insects migrated to the thorax, became enlarged, and formed into wings. This hypothesis has some backing due to morphological evidence. However, it has been decreasing in popularity. The paranodal lobe hypothesis states that wings may have evolved from extensions of the thoracic segments known as paranodal lobes. These lobes, originally used for thermoregulation, may have had a secondary function as a glider for insects which slowly evolved into articulated flight structures. Most evidence for this theory comes from fossil evidence and was one of the most popular theories put forward on insect flight. The excite hypothesis revolves around the structures on ancient insect legs known as excites. These structures may have had been used for aquatic movement, and just like the paranormal lobe, they may have had a secondary role in gliding and over the course of time evolved into wings. This hypothesis is mainly supported by genetic evidence. Finally, the hybrid hypothesis combines the paranodal lobe and excite hypotheses by theorizing that these two structures fused into wings, with the paranodal lobes providing a base for the wings and the excites providing articulation. This is currently the most accepted hypothesis on the origin of wings, however, it has not been fully proven. The orders that emerged around this time include the order of Ephemeroptera, containing the insects known as mayflies, can be identified through their reduced hind wings, the reduced or absent mouth parts, the bristle-like antenna, and their two or three short terminal filaments. Mayflies have aquatic nymphs and a winged pre-adult stage called a submiago. The adults all emerge at the same time in massive breeding swarms. Insects in the order Ordinata, known as dragonflies and damselflies, can be characterized by their large compound eyes, their elongate abdomens, and their bristle-like antenna. Dragonflies and damselflies have aquatic nymphs with grasping mouthparts. The adults have excellent vision, are adept flyers, and can be highly territorial. Another key innovation that evolved in insects was neoptery, or the ability of an insect to fold their wings tight along their abdomen. Orders of insect that emerged after this innovation include Dermaptera is the order containing the insects known as earwigs. They can be identified from their forceps like cerci, their forewings that are modified into tegmina, which are leathery wings and their hind wings tucked under their tegmina. Earwigs are omnivorous. They use their cerci in defense, fighting, and prey capture. Many earwigs maternally care for their young. The order Zoraptera, also called angel insects, can be identified through their reduced or absent eyes, their bead-like antenna, and their sheddable wings. Angel insects live in leaf litter and rotting wood, eating fungi and other detritus. These rare insects sometimes live in groups. Insects in the order Plecoptera, also known as stoneflies, are notable because of their dark-colored wings, their long antenna and cerci, and their adult form, which may have gill remnants. Stoneflies have aquatic nymphs with visible gills. These nymphs are usually herbivores and are bioindicators. An adult stonefly usually does not feed and only exists to breed. The order Orthoptera, with grasshoppers, crickets, and katydids, can be identified through their hind legs modified for jumping, their tagmina, and their vibrant or cryptic morphology. Orthopterans are mostly herbivorous organisms that use sound to communicate, 
and can hear using a specialized organ called a tympanum. Phasmatodians, also known as stick and leaf insects, are elongate, they mimic twigs and leaves, they have reduced or absent wings, and chemical defense glands on their backs. Thick insects are entirely herbivorous, and many can produce offspring without a mate. The order Embedina, commonly known as web spinners, can be identified from the large pair of tarsi on their first pair of legs, their wingless females, and their bead-like antenna. Web spinners are herbivorous, and they weave galleries of silk tubes around their food source. Mothers will protect eggs, and some species even live communally. The order Mantidea, containing the mantids, can be identified through their elongate prothorax, their spiked raptorial forelegs, their large compound eyes, and their triangular heads. Mantids are predators with excellent eyesight. These insects sometimes mimic plant life and partake in sexual cannibalism. The order Blattodea is a wide-spanning order containing two main groups. The first of these groups is the cockroaches. Cockroaches can be identified from their dorsoventrally flattened bodies, their large pronotum, their tagmina, and their legs modified for running. Cockroaches are generally omnivorous, with roles as household pests and decomposers. Many species exhibit sociality. The other main group of Blattodea are the termites. They can be identified from their detachable wings, their eusociality, and their reduced or absent eyes. Termites live in large mounds, with a king and a queen producing up to 30,000 eggs per day. The termites share symbiotic wood-digesting microbes among themselves. The order Thysanoptera contains the thrips, thrips being both plural and singular. They can be identified from their asymmetrical mouthparts, their usual lack of wings, and when they have the wings, they are like feathers. Thrips are mostly herbivorous pests. Many species can create galls, and some even exhibit social behavior in their galls. The word bug can be applied to many different types of creatures, insects and not, but true bugs are the members of the order Hemiptera. These guys can be identified through their piercing sucking mouth parts, known as rostrums, and their modified forewings, known as hemolytra. True bugs are mostly herbivorous fluid feeders. They serve as both pests and biocontrol. The order Sicodia, known as lice, have two main groups, the first of these being the true lice. These guys can be identified for their dorsoventrally flattened bodies, their prehensile tarsal claws, their winglessness, and their reduced or absent eyes. True lice are external parasites specialized for birds and mammals. They either chew tissue or suck blood. The other group of Socodea, bark lice, can be identified by their swollen clypeus, their long thin antenna, and their wingedness. Bark lice eat fungal matter and detritus. Some species specialize in feeding, with some bark lice able to eat glue or vertebrate nests. Lesser known but still important to be aware of are the two orders Grilloblatodea and Mantophasmatodea. The order of extremophiles known as Grilloblatodea, also called ice crawlers, can be identified by being secondarily apterous, having long circean antenna, and reduced or absent eyes. Ice crawlers have adapted to live in the extreme cold, where they eat mosses. Mantophasmatodea, the order of the heel walkers, can be identified through their winglessness, their upturned tarsi, and their thin antenna. Not much is known about heel walkers. All species discovered since these insects were described in 2002 are predatory. The process of metamorphosis in insects appears in three different methods. Avitabolous development, in which no change occurs between a young insect and an adult. Hemimetabolous development, in which change between a nymph and an adult occurs gradually. And holometabolous development, in which change between a larva and an adult occurs rapidly. The young of hemimetabolous insects are called nymphs. These nymphs have wing buds where wings will emerge in adulthood. The young of holometabolous insects are called larvae. Larvae do not have wing buds as they develop during the pupil stage between their larval stage and adulthood. This type of development has led to insects becoming more successful as it allows an insect to exploit totally different niches at two different points in their life. Holometabolous insect orders include Graffitioptera, the order of snake flies, can be identified by their four veiny membrous wings, their elongate prothorax, and their large ovipositor. Snakefly larvae are long and flattened, adapted to living within tree bark. All species of snakefly are predatory. Megalopterans, also known as Dobson flies, can be identified due to their large size, their four veiny membranous wings, the dark color these wings have, and their long mandibles. Dobson fly larvae are called Helgramites. They have external gill filaments and are voracious aquatic predators. Adults do not eat and use their mandibles for courtship. Neuropterans, also called lace wings, can be identified by their four veiny membranous wings and their similarity to Raphidioptera and Megaloptera. Larvae are predatory and have several notable members, such as antlions and mantis flies. 
Adults are usually predatory and can be used in biocontrol. Strepsiptera is the order of insects containing the twisted wing parasites. They're notable for having highly reduced forewings, twisted hindwings, non-functional mouthparts, and blackberry-like eyes. Larvae and females are entirely reduced and remain inside of a host, releasing pheromones that may also alter the host behavior. Males, however, are free-living. Insects in the order Mycoptera, commonly known as scorpion flies, are notable for having an elongated clypeus, scorpion-like external genitalia, long membranous wings, and chewing biting mouthparts. Scorpion fly larvae have compound eyes and are caterpillar-like in appearance. They're scavengers and predators, and they present a nuptial gift to females during mating. Some species can catch prey with their raptorial hind legs. Insects in the order Siphonaptera, commonly known as fleas, can be identified by their laterally flattened bodies, their jumping hind legs, their reduced eyes and antenna, and their piercing sucking mouth parts. Fleas are external parasites of mammals and birds. Flea larvae have no legs but do possess chewing mouth parts. They're commonly found in vertebrate nests. The final insect order that we will be looking at today is Trichoptera, also called the caddis flies. They can be identified by their hairy wings, their long maxillary palps, their lack of other mouth parts, and long thin antenna. Caddis fly larvae are aquatic and construct cases with silk and debris. Adults are found near water and do not feed. Well everybody, that about wraps up this video on the evolution of flight, neoptery, and holometabolous development, and the insect orders with these traits. Please subscribe for more lessons in entomology, and leave a like if you learned something new. Until next time, this has been Crash Course in Entomology.